Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to do a walkthrough on an air blower replacement today on a Mercedes ML350. It's simple, it's behind the glove box on the dashboard on the passenger side of the vehicle and I will show you how to get to that component, remove it and put a new one in place and then put everything back together. So stay tuned, watch this video to the end, subscribe if you're not a subscriber thumbs up the video ask any questions and don't be afraid to share this thanks first thing we're gonna do we're gonna remove that fuse cover box and you can accomplish that by using a flathead screwdriver I'm just popping that off then using a Torx 20 we're gonna take off the first screw that's behind that fuse cover that we just removed. Once that's removed, there are three more Torque 20s under that you have to remove. One here, one there, and one right here. So we're going to remove those next. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those three Torque screws, the T20s. Once you've removed all three, then this will want to come down. But you want to hold this up because you now have three screws on the here at the base that you want to remove. That's why I closed it back so that it will stay in position. Also using the torque 20, Before I completely disconnect this, gotta remove this light uh, connection right here. That's for your bulb. Disconnect that. Once you've disconnected that, then remove the glove compartment. Once that glove compartment is removed, you'll then see this is your blower fan. And right above the blower fan is a little compartment right here. That is where your air filtration filters go. Now for those of you that may have a blower that's no longer coming on, you turn on the air and there's no air coming out of any of the vents and your fuse for the blower fan is good. This is the module, this is the unit that you would remove and it's easy to come out. Just take this bolt off. You would then disconnect this power cord right here. Just, and it's one of those Mercedes plugs. You simply just plug it and remove it out. Once you've done those two things, remove the bolt, then you can slide this module down. This unit is going to want to come out with it. And you'd slide this out and you'd slide it back in, the new one. I'm not going to do this on this in this video because this unit is still good. Once that's all done, we're going to put back the glove compartment back on the hinges and before we bolt everything up, we're going to reconnect that light right there that's connected. Next we're going to use our screws to hold the base, the T20, Torx 20. And there are three screws that we're going to tighten. Tighten in the base first. Then once those three screws are in place and secured, we're then going to tighten the T20 
top and that's done by using the three uh, thicker screws that we took out they're also Torx 20 Once that's done, we're going to tighten the last Torx 20 screw on the outside by the fuse box. Once that's done, we would then uh, cover that glove box, uh, fuse box with the panel that we took off. As always, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to subscribe like this video, share it with your friends, and see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.